Hi guys, Wholesome Mom Life here. I'm here to show you a different kind of video today. This is gonna be a video for Valentine's Day gifts, super last minute because we are just days before Valentine's Day and on the super cheap. These are gifts for children, adults, teens. We're gonna talk about it all. Let's get into it. So I do feel like if you wanna find what you're looking for. You may have to go to multiple stores. You might need a little bit of time on your hands. You don't really have to do that, but for me, my Target selection was so slim and my Dollar Tree selection was also pretty slim. At Target today, I picked up these blocks, which are super cute, and we're in the dollar section or the $5 section at Target. $3, I think that's a great gift for um, an infant slash toddler. So from Walmart, I found clearance clothes. A bunch of these sweatshirts were on clearance for $2, original price $4. 50s. This one says Miss Perfect. This one's got an adorable little unicorn on it. This one has cute little animals. And this one says love you all over it with hearts. Definitely hit up your Walmart clearance and not just for Valentine's Day, but just in general. Let's check clothes, shoes, anything in the baby section. Other thing I found and I was so excited to find this was this cute little bin. And that's what I'm going to use to put all of her stuff in. For Valentine's Day from the Dollar Tree. So this was only one dollar. It's like a blush pink and I may even get some like baby food or snacks. She loves puffs so we'll probably put that in her basket and that'll be her Valentine's gift. Granted she's a year old. She has no clue what we're getting her anyway. She could care less. Dollar Tree also has other great gifts. To be creative you don't have to get stuff that's just in the Valentine's Day section. There's a whole section for babies. There's a section for crafts and these gifts go for any age. If someone in your family loves to garden, they have gardening gloves, they have cute little planters. If someone in your family likes candles, they also have decorative jars for candles and they do sell the candles. However, I probably think those are a better deal at Walmart, but I'm not 100% sure on that. You could get someone some frames and frame a picture and give that to them for Valentine's Day. They have cute wall decor at some Dollar Trees. It's early, but there's already spring decor out and a lot of people like to decorate for spring and summer. You could hit up your local thrift stores. You could hit up Goodwill. Well, we have like a kids thrift store near me and you can find used toys that are in great shape, used clothes that are in great shape. I would really recommend staying under $20 for Valentine's gifts. Go get the poster board at Dollar Tree. The ones at my Dollar Tree are black. We cut it out with an X-Acto knife in the shape of like a picture frame. Go buy either some red pens or maybe you already have some some glitter pens. You could get um, the pieces of foam they sell on the Dollar Tree. I saw some big heart ones today. They have small ones. They have little jewels and decorate it. Make it into sort of like a photo booth type of thing. Take pictures with it. You're going to do like a dinner. This is more for a spouse. Dollar Tree sells great party supplies that are pretty cheap as does Walmart. Go grab a table cover, a Valentine's Day table cover. If you can't find one, just get a red or a pink one. And they have rose petals at Dollar Tree I saw that were pink and white. Sprinkle those all over the table. Go get this jar, decorative candle vases, and go get the candles from Dollar Tree. If you want to, you can go get like fancy plates. This is what I would recommend for flowers. Not saying you shouldn't support local businesses because, you know, if you have the means to, by all means, go for it. But if you want to get flowers on the cheap for Valentine's Day, hit up your local grocery store, Walmart, Kroger, whatever it may be. They usually carry clearance flowers. So go pick up some clearance flowers the morning of, like they die within a week anyway. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing for my husband this year. And this is the only thing I'm getting him. Other than that, we're actually cooking for ourselves at home. I already have steak I got on clearance weeks ago in the freezer. We're gonna cook some steak, some asparagus, some potatoes. It's gonna be delicious. And that's what we're doing for Valentine's Day. And we might do like a charcuterie board on the side. That's relatively cheap. Um, a charcuterie board can run a little pricey, but you don't have to spend that much money on a charcuterie board. It doesn't have to be fancy meats and cheeses. Sam's Club may have it for cheaper. This is what I did for my husband. All you need is the post-it notes and a Sharpie. These were 88 cents at Walmart for me. So my husband's Valentine's gift is 88 cents. You really can't beat that unless it's free. So I wrote little love notes on each one. So I put, I love your eyes, I love your smile, and some other things the morning of before he wakes up. I'm gonna go to our bathroom and put the post-it notes in the shape of a heart on the mirror. And if there's any left over, I'll just put them somewhere to decorate the mirror. And that'll be his little Valentine's gift. And I know he's probably gonna cry. If you wanna keep that memory, you don't have to keep the post-it notes unless you have like a scrapbook you can put them in. You could just snap a picture and go get the picture printed and have it framed. Another gift that seems to be super trendy this year, basically it's a coupon book and you can buy it at Target. I think they were like $10. So you give it to your partner or whoever it may be. 
they can give you the coupon whenever and it could say I want you to cook me my favorite meal. You could really get creative with that and make your own. If you have a printer at home or if you have a local library, I know UPS does printing. I'm not sure on the pricing for that. FedEx I think does too. You don't even have to print it. You could just go get some blank paper or a notebook somewhere, go buy a cheap notebook at a Dollar Tree or something and make a coupon book. But definitely put an expiration date so they're motivated to like use it. I wouldn't just give it to them because then it'll probably like end up in a drawer somewhere. I hope that gave you guys some ideas. My advice overall is be creative. If you have the time to spare, hit up multiple stores. So yeah guys, that does it. I hope you're able to find very cheap and easy and thoughtful Valentine's Day gifts. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any other suggestions that I didn't even think of. But if you get creative and you're able to hit up maybe multiple stores and just be very thoughtful, you really can find some great, cheap, thoughtful gifts. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and a very happy Valentine's Day. Bye guys.